I am so very excited that Nikki Brandt is winning the Dennis W. Janigan Award from the American Geriatric Society. Nikki has been the champion of geriatric pharmacy and interprofessional education, and she's so very deserving of this award. It's as an extra added bonus, Nikki's also the first pharmacist to receive this award. I think as healthcare professionals, and I know I've spoke about this before, it's important to find your professional home. And though I've been very involved in the American Society of Consultant Pharmacists and Leadership, I've also been very involved in the American Geriatric Society. And the reason for that is the American Geriatric Society is an interprofessional, non-for-profit society um, where various team members that I work with every day come together and really promote aging um, through public policy, through advocacy, through clinical resources and clinical initiatives. When I looked at the list of award recipients, I'm the first pharmacist, which I think, again, just speaks to the role that pharmacists need to play on the interprofessional team when caring for older adults. And so I'm really excited by that and how we need to continue to grow uh, programs within the schools of pharmacy that focus on caring for older adults, because as we know, we have a public health imperative, which is really trying to meet the needs to help older adults age in place, and medication use and safety is one of those imperatives. I was really, really just so excited that AGS was recognizing Dr. Brandt for all the work that she has done within geriatrics. It's really exciting to see non-physicians recognized and for Nikki to be recognized for her work with them. I knew Dennis Janigan. His idea was that geriatrics had to be inclusive, uh, inclusive of everybody in the health professions. I think Dennis would be extraordinarily pleased and proud that Dr. Brandt was getting the award this year uh, because it's completely consistent with his vision. Dr. Janigan, Dennis Janigan, was a renowned uh, geriatrician who was passionate about um, expanding educational programs, not just within medical school, but other allied healthcare professional schools. Um, and he established this award with the American Geriatric Society back in 1999. For me, just being recognized my, by my peers, and even when they took my CV and information, I said, it's enough just to be recognized by you, um, which means a lot. Nikki has spent years um, educating pharmacists and other healthcare professions about geriatric pharmacy. She's been a champion for older adults to promote safe medication use. And I think that this award validates so much of the work that she's done over her career. And I really hope that she sees this as an opportunity to keep going and to continue that work, to inspire others to follow her down that path. The School of Pharmacy is lucky to have Nikki Brandt as one of its faculty members. She's a bright, shining star. You can see it in her smile and in her attitude every day. I think Dr. Brandt is making enormous contributions, not just here, not just in partnership with us at Hopkins, but in the entire country. 